Today I'm going to be showing you the first things to do with your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Let's get started. Of course, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do with the new Apple Watch, one of the big tips and tricks that we have to go in is to start looking at the variety of new watch faces that are exclusive to the brand new Apple Watch Series 5 and Watch OS 6. That's what we're gonna be showing you now is some of these Apple Watch watch faces and the complications that go into them, the best customization that you can make. And I highly recommend going through uh, and taking a look at what is possible with these new watch faces right here in watch OS 6. Your new Apple Watch Series 5 comes with a variety of new watch faces as well. Of course, the first being this incredible Meridian face that has the multicolor. Obviously, it fades away uh, when you're not looking at it as much. You can see it goes from that white to a uh, darker color. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and customize. You actually change the dial color itself. Right? You can also go in, change from multicolor to red to orange. You can actually set up a certain type of color that you want all of your dials to be. I do like the multicolor though. I think it makes it pop, it adds that extra edge. Then of course you can go through and you can change the individual complications, obviously going through each of these and choosing which one uh, you want. So you could choose the date, you can obviously choose UV, and UV index, you can even add voice memos, walkie talkie. Now another cool feature as well is you can go through and you can actually add in, not just on here, if we scroll through, we're going through a lot of these. Uh, but what we could do is we can actually add in the calculator and that way we can easily calculate tips like we showed you earlier right here from the watch face itself. So that's another great way that you can add that to the complication. Obviously, once you're done, just tap the digital crown. So now we can much more quickly access the calculator where we can calculate tips. So that's the first watch face we want to show you. Obviously, the Meridian watch face right here on the Apple Watch Series 5. Brand new to the Apple Watch Series 5 and Watch OS 6 is you now actually have the calculator app right here on your Apple Watch that wasn't here before. Now that's not necessarily a hidden feature, but the hidden feature is that you can now quickly calculate tips directly using your Apple Watch in the calculator app. So watch this, let's say you have a $125 meal, you wanna calculate a tip, just press that tip button right up here. And this is essentially the hidden feature and tip that you guys can use. You see here, it gives you the 20% tip it tells you what the tip is. You can also change the number of people to. Let's say you wanted to decrease the tip a little bit. You can use the crown to do that, or you can increase it if you had some good service. So you can see exactly how to tip people right here on the Apple Watch, and you can even divide the bill among multiple people. Let's say you had three or four people there. It'll tell you how much each of you needs to pay. This is a great hidden feature right here in the Apple Watch. It's that tip icon, just type in the number, click tip, and then you can calculate a tip directly here from your Apple Watch. It's that easy. We also have the new California watch face as well. As you can see here, I really like this design. This is a nice blue design here with Roman numerals. So if you go in, obviously you can go ahead and customize it. There's a variety of different ways you could set it up. You could set it up with numbers. You can obviously go through. You can set it up with uh, different you know, types of alphabets that you can go through. Uh, I do like kind of the classic uh, style here, the California style. If we swipe through, you can see that we can make it not just full screen, but also circular. Um, those are the two main options you have here. And then from there, you can of course change the color. There's a wide variety of different colors available. A lot of them with a black background, but you also have a few of these with the navy blue, the cream background. I do like the navy blue though. So obviously you can go through here and then you can change the specific complications like normal. Again, as you know with the Apple Watch, one of the best things is you can change the wide variety of different complications you have right on here. So you can choose the ones that you want the most. You can really just customize it, make it unique to you. And that's what I recommend doing. Obviously, when you first get this Apple Watch, right, it's going through and making the complications exactly how you like them because that's the most fun part. You can now view Safari websites directly from the Apple Watch. This is really convenient when you're trying to ask Siri something. So watch this. Salmon recipes. I found this on the web. And you can scroll through, take a look at each of the recipes here, but the new feature is you can actually click this open page button, just like so, and actually get to the web page itself 
right here on your Apple Watch. So it'll take a couple seconds just to load. And as you can see, we now have the entire recipe from that web page of how to make salmon. It's that easy to go to a specific web page right here on your Apple Watch. Of course, we also have the numerals duo. And as you can see here, this is a nice kind of simplistic blocky design, uh, very simplistic just with the dates. You can obviously go in and customize this. There's a few different ways that you can have it set up. I like the main one uh, in general. And then you can obviously change the style. So you can see here, there's a few different styles. Uh, I actually like this one where you have the top that's actually filled in and the bottom isn't. Uh, and then you can go through here, you can also change the specific colors, obviously customize, make it unique to you. And there you go, you can obviously customize this one as well. There's not as many customizations just because of what it is, uh, but this is another great watch complication right here on your Apple Watch. I definitely recommend testing out the brand new voice recordings app right here on your Apple Watch. You can actually now do voice memos directly from your Apple Watch. Watch this. All you have to do is tap the record button to record voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. And click stop and as you can see, you can have all of the different recordings that you do that you can play back, even send off to your devices. You can share it here and you can also delete as well. So that's the way that you can actually store voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. Of course, we also have the gradient Apple Watch face, which I love because obviously as the hands move, it changes where the gradient is. I just love the simplicity of this, the way that it looks, uh, right? It's one of those things that is very simple yet elegant. Uh, and obviously if you click on it, you can go into the gradient itself. You can change the color. Uh, obviously it comes in a nice red uh, by default, but there is a wide, wide variety of different colors here. I like some of these, oh, nice royal blue color. You can go through, you can change the style, right? So you can see that we have different ways that you can have the gradients. So you can either have the three gradients or less gradients like so. Then you can go through, you can change it. You can not just have it full screen, you could have it be circular, right? So you could change uh, how you want it designed. And then obviously there's not complications in the full screen version. But if you were to screw, switch to the circular, you can actually add the complications around the watch face as well. So that's important to remember. If you switch to the other version, you can add the extra complications. I just love the way that this gradient one works. Let me know in the comment section below what your guys' favorite uh, watch face complications are. Uh, I always love to hear from you guys and see what you guys like the best. Another new app for watch OS 6 is the noise app. So this actually allows you to measure sound in your area and actually hear how loud the noise is. That way you can make sure that you're protecting your ears, you're staying away from dangerously loud noises that could damage your hearing. So this is a very unique extra app right here on your Apple Watch. Another great new watch face is the solar dial where actually the center watch face moves around uh, the watch face as the day goes on. There's a lot going on here, yet it still looks very elegant. You can obviously go through here and customize it yourself. Oh, need to wake it up there. There we go. You can go ahead and customize it yourself. You can actually switch from an analog to a digital time as uh, the part of the watch face or the complication that goes around. So this is a good kind of middle ground. I do like the analog better though. So we'll switch it back to analog here. And then of course you can change all the various complications around the watch face as well. I think this is a really great style. You can see here that this looks very fancy, very complicated here. Um, yet it still has that elegant feel, right? There's a lot going on, but it also looks great at the same time. I hope you guys are enjoying our video on the first things to do with your new Apple Watch Series 5. We have many more things coming up in just a second, but first I wanted to show you an incredible application that allows you to save and earn money every time you go grocery shopping, you go out to stores, and you can earn a $20 bonus just for using our sign up. You can even earn that today. So I wanna show you how this app works and then we'll be back with more first things to do on your Apple Watch Series 5. So this next app allows you to earn cash back whenever you shop at grocery stores. It's incredible. You can earn instant cash back just for shopping at your favorite stores. You can also stack this with coupons you might usually use or just use this on its own to earn cash for shopping. And you'll get a $10 bonus when you use our link 
uh, which we're gonna show you exactly how to use. You might as well at least get the bonus. So we're gonna show you how this works. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up your mobile Safari browser, open up a new tab like so, and you're going to go to this exact URL. It is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, slash get Ibotta bonus, just like this. B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-I-B-O-T-T-A B-O-N-U-S. You have to put in that exact URL to get that $10 bonus just for signing up and scanning your first receipt to redeem your rebate. So you can click the link right down there in the description. We've also have it up on the screen. It's bit.ly slash get Ibotta bonus. That'll make sure that you actually are able to get this bonus. As you can see, Ibotta has over 688,000 ratings, solid five star. You can't get better than that. This is an incredible app that helps you save money. As you can see, you can earn real cash thousands of retailers across the country uh, you can earn cash back at just for shopping in store. So once we have this Ibotta app downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up. Now you can see here that we have the Ibotta app loading just like so. And as you can see, you can get cash back on everyday purchases. Now, because you used our link, you can actually join and get a $20 welcome bonus. So it usually is $10, but because you used our link, bit.ly slash get Ibotta bonus, you can go ahead and get that $20 bonus right there. And then we can go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead and sign up for the account and show you inside Ibotta. So as you can see, now that we're in the app, you can see just how easy it is to earn cash back. You can see you can actually earn cash back on things like Lyft and Uber rides, Best Buy $10 cash back on limited time deals, 6% at Amazon. You can scroll through here, there's a wide variety, but it also lets you save cash back at different stores as well. You can kind of swipe through here, 75 cents at Uber. I mean, that's easy if you use Uber anyways. Chobani yogurt, $1.22. So let's say you wanted that, you just click on it, you could say here, you could see that you could buy the Chobani, you know, Greek yogurt, pumpkin and spice, which sounds good. Go ahead, click plus, and then you can add that to your cart. And then when you actually go ahead and purchase that item, then what you're gonna be able to do is get that $1.22 back. All you have to do is scan the barcode and the receipt and you'll get that cash back. And remember, just because you used bit.ly slash get I bought a bonus, not only will you get the cash back for whatever you're going shopping at, you're also going to go ahead and get a $20, an elevated $20 bonus just for redeeming that first cashback rebate at any of these stores. You can see there's a wide variety here. Now let's take a look at Walmart for a second here. So let's say you were going into Walmart, you had some things you wanted to get already. They have some of these any brand deals. So you can see any brand of toilet paper, 25 cents back. Any brand of waffles, Pop-Tarts, 50 cents back, right? Hot Pockets, any brand of diapers, any item, just submit a grocery receipt, 10 cents back. These are things that you're going to buy anyways, you have a family, or even you're just shopping for yourself. You can see here that there's a wide variety of different things. Kleenex, a dollar back, right? You could scroll through here, Oreos, Bagel Bites, Pancake Mix, Colgate, right? These are name brand items you would have bought anyways that you can go ahead and get cash back for. But here is a great uh, secret. You can go ahead and use that any item grocery store receipt or the any item, you know, toilet paper, whatever you happen to be buying, you can use this any item grocery receipt scan the receipt for the cash back. You can see this is available not just at Walmart, but Wegmans, Target, a wide variety, Stop and Shop, CVS, right? You can use this in order to get that cash back, but also the $20 bonus for signing up using bit.ly slash get Ibotta bonus, and then scanning your first receipt and earning your cash back. Now, let's say that you don't have a family, you don't, you don't shop as much at grocery stores, you can even do this at convenience stores like 7-Eleven, Kmart, uh, you know, CVS. So let's say we wanted to search for CVS. So we search up here for CVS like so. See that we have CVS, we click on CVS in store, and you can even get this for things like gum, a uh, variety of different things at CVS. I'd have to scroll through and, and find them, but there's a wide variety of different cash back options that you can get. So you don't have to go grocery shopping to do this, uh, but obviously that's an easy way to get that. So you can get instant cash back and a $20 bonus by going to bit.ly slash get I bought a bonus link down there in the description and on the screen and just redeem your first cash back rebate. Enjoy.
All right, so thank you for watching my video on the best hidden features for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Hopefully, you guys have found this video valuable. You found some great new hidden features. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys found this valuable. Share it with your friends. And I definitely, definitely recommend taking a look at Ebates, Rakuten. Obviously, you can save money shopping online that you do anyways. But when you go to bit.ly, bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus, you're going to get a 10 dollar bonus just for shopping at one of these stores you earn the cash back plus the ten dollars i mean look at that 15 percent back at kohl's and you get access to all the coupons six percent at macy's there's a wide variety of different stores uh, right here and it helps to support our show but also helps to support you that way you can actually earn cash back whenever you shop online. So hopefully you guys found this valuable and you learned a lot more about what you can do with your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Enjoy your new watch and I'll see you guys on the next video. Of course, we also have the modular compact just like this. As you can see, it's got the day view down below with the weather, what it's gonna look like. You also have at the top, obviously, your watch face itself. You have a few different uh, complications in here as well. There's a lot of different things you can change. You can change it, of course, to digital or analog. And then if you scroll through, you can see that we can change the color. Uh, obviously, I like the one that has the white background because I think it pops, right? Kind of adds that extra element. Then, of course, you can go through and you can change the different complications. Down here, you have kind of the wider complication, which is interesting because you can actually set this up not just for the weather each day, but maybe for the UV index each day, right? Or the wind each day. So there's a few of these different ones that you can do. There's also some other ones as well, like stocks, right? Uh, different reminders, uh, these wide screen complications that work really well right here uh, in this modular compact watch face. One of the first things you may wanna do when you get your Apple Watch is make sure that the text size and brightness, that all meets your standards. So you can see here, you can actually change the brightness, the default brightness on your Apple Watch to actually increase it even brighter right here in your settings. So you just open up your Apple Watch app, then you're gonna to go to brightness and text size. You can see here that you can actually increase the brightness, keep it at the normal rate, or even decrease the brightness, and that might help save your battery life as well. So this is up to you. One of the things that I like to do though is I did go ahead and increase that brightness just so I can make sure I can always see my Apple Watch, especially on a bright day. Now you can also increase or decrease the text size if you want. So as you can see, that's gonna actually increase the text size on your device. You can even make it bold to make it a little bit easier to see as well. That's all right here in the brightness and text size settings of your Apple Watch app on your iPhone. One of the other first things you're gonna to wanna to try with the new Apple Watch is actually tapping the screen in order to get it to tell you the time. So just tap with two fingers and it'll tell you the time. 5.41 p.m. Just like so. It's a really cool, feature that they've now added with the brand new Apple Watch. You can have it say the time whenever you want to hear 5 it. 5.41 p.m. Just like that. So with your Apple Watch and the screen always being on, that is a great thing. But what you can do is you can decide to hide sensitive complications from your watch face, right? And so if we go here into your Apple Watch and we go to brightness and text size, and then you can see here that we have always on, the Apple Watch face is always on, so that's the watch itself. And of course, you can obviously change you know, the brightness, text size, all of these settings right in here as well. That's something you'll probably want to customize. But what you could do is go in here, and as you can see, the watch face is always on, which is a good thing, but you might wanna hide sensitive complications. So if you choose hide sensitive complications, then uh, data such as your calendar appointments, your heart rate, that could be hidden when you put your wrist down like that, right? When you're not looking at it that way, other people can't get, catch a glimpse of your sensitive information. This is definitely a hidden feature you're gonna to wanna to look into, especially if you're concerned with somebody seeing something that you don't want them to see. This next feature is a little more serious and I encourage everybody who is watching this right now to set this up just to be safe. Uh, this is emergency SOS and hopefully none of you watching ever need to use this, but this could save you from a dangerous situation. So I recommend everybody watching this right now to set up emergency SOS. You're gonna go into your Apple Watch app on your iPhone, click on emergency SOS. And as you can see here, you wanna make sure that you enable automatic dialing. You wanna turn this on. It might be off by default. You wanna turn this on 
automatic dialing in order to call emergency services if you press and hold the side button. And you also want to turn on fall detection so that Apple Watch can automatically call emergency uh, services if it detects that you fall. Now, again, it will give you a slight warning beforehand. So it'll say, or do you really want to do that? Like, you know, if you're, if you're conscious, right, you can say, hey, no, nope, no, nope, this is a false alarm. But if you're unconscious, it will automatically call emergency services if you fall and you have the ability to hold the side button. Now, the reason that I recommend everybody watching this turn that on is think about that. If you find yourself, hopefully you never do, but if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, all you have to do is press and hold on that side button to call emergency services, or if you take a fall and you can't press and hold that side button, the Apple Watch will automatically detect that you fell and call emergency services on your behalf. So I really think it's better to be safe than sorry. That's why I recommend going here into your Apple Watch settings, going to Emergency SOS, and enabling both the automatic dialing by holding the side button and fall detection. Hopefully you never have to use this, but I encourage all of you to set this up just in case, just to be safe. It's Emergency SOS right here for your Apple Watch. Thank you for watching our video on the first things to do with your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Hopefully you guys found this video valuable and be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found this valuable. We'll see you guys on the next video for your brand new Apple Watch.